The Dingley Corridor is a 19-kilometre arterial route between Warrigal Road in Moorabbin and the South Gippsland Freeway in Dandenong South. It's an important link to accommodate the rapidly growing industrial and commercial areas in southeast Melbourne. The corridor is being built in sections and to date three sections have been completed. These include the Westall Road Extension, South Road Extension and the Dandenong Bypass. The Dingley Bypass will be the next 6.4 kilometre section of the corridor to be built. The State Government has committed $156 million to build the road, which will have three lanes each way to connect Warrigal Road in Moorabbin and Westall Road in Dingley Village. The Dingley Bypass will start at the South Road intersection with Warrigal Road. Some roads will need to be permanently closed where they meet the Dingley Bypass to allow for the flow of traffic. Old Dandenong Road will be closed either side of the bypass. Access to and from Old Dandenong Road will be available from nearby Clorinda Road. New intersections will be built at Clorinda Road and Kingston Road, allowing motorists access onto the bypass. Old Boundary Road will be closed where it intersects with the bypass and a new intersection will be built at Boundary Road near Clayton Road. A connection to the shared user path network will allow pedestrian and cyclist access across the bypass. Grange Road will be closed just south of Kingston Road with access available via Heatherton Road and nearby Boundary and Junction Roads. Tootle Road will be duplicated between Heatherton Road and the bypass to allow for two lanes of traffic on approach to the new intersection with the bypass. We have now arrived at the end of the Dingley Bypass at Westall Road. Heading north will take motorists towards Springvale and heading south will take motorists to Keysborough and Dandenong South. As part of the project, a shared bicycle and footpath will be constructed alongside the Dingley Bypass, which will tie in with existing and future cycle networks in the area. Landscaping along the bypass will be largely indigenous planting to complement the area and provide visual screening of any noise barriers and of the bypass. At Elder Street South, the Dingley Bypass will rise approximately four metres to allow Elder Street South to pass underneath. This underpass will allow the local community to have connectivity through to Old Dandenong Road and surrounding areas. The Dingley Bypass will take approximately two years to construct, with completion expected to be in late 2016. Dandenong is one of the fastest growing industrial areas in Melbourne, so it's important that we're able to meet the demands for this future development. The Dingley Bypass will mean better and safer roads for all road users, whilst reducing congestion on key arterial roads and improving travel times through the area.